short build progress update. So the stack of the boards here that's connected with the IDC connectors and the ribbon cable here. Um, I'm taking them apart, or I've rather extracted the character generation board from underneath the video generation board here. Uh, I've started removing the ICs from the character generation board and I'm slowly transferring them to the new build here. So this is, this is the old version 3.0 character board, which has this hack here, which I want to get rid of, but also the 3.1 character board has the ability to select the upper or lower bank in the palette RAM. So uh, the lower 128 or the upper 128 colors. That was just a, a little expansion, which I added. Um, this is not like the full version four board, but the version four board uh, includes uh, the ability to have uh, more um, character screen banks and to enable or disable the character display. So that can wait. I just wanted to get this one built first so I can get rid of this hack here. So that's what I'm doing. Now about halfway through the ICs, transferring them from here to here, um, uh, maybe about half an hour more and I'll be ready to test it. Uh, this board as well um, includes the narrow, easier to find 6116 RAM, whereas this board contains the wide 6116 RAM, which was a lot harder to find. Um, it came in a ceramic package. Um, it was military spec, so it was harder to export. The narrow one is not quite military spec, so it's easier for me to export that one easier to find the part, basically. So just a short update with the build progress. Uh, this stack now has the usual uh, pins and headers board interconnect bus model instead of the IDC connectors and the ribbon cables. Um, it's a lot more stable now. I've uh, finished rebuilding the character generation board and as you can see there's no uh, hacky breadboard with jumper wires going out to it and the IC that had the wrong size socket on the previous iteration. Uh, the video output now actually looks uh, a lot more stable. So I don't know if you can see here, but uh, the, the flickering pixels that were apparent, the little jud slightly juddering pixels on the character layer are no longer there. Um, I also uh, had to debug a couple of badly soldered joints. Um, funnily enough, both of them were on the, uh, the ground pins of a couple of different ICs, which were generating some very obvious effects. And actually I was able to debug this in Proteus in the simulation by enabling and disabling uh, various different pins and ICs and tracking down the problem that way. And actually I got a, I got a very visible, um, very visible simulation result, which was exactly the same result I was seeing on the hardware. So that's great. It proves the model that we can use Proteus as a simulation software to debug hardware faults and it's usually a lot easier than trying to uh, enable and disable pins and get out the logic analyzer. Well, it didn't take that long to track down. Um, there was also a dry solder joint on the uh, sprite register memory, the 6116, um, which may or may not have been causing some of the sprite reliability issues. Um, after a while, when the board was, was heating up, I was actually seeing uh, an occasional glitch in the sprite positions. And now the board's heated up and, and is running through its paces. I've not seen any glitch at all. So let's reset the Commodore 64. Oof. Of course, the, the sprite display has frozen now because I'm not running anything. So it's not updating the sprites. Now, if I um, move across it here and uh, start that going again, here we go, start that going, update, 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 there we go. 
the sprites are zooming around, the balls are correctly removing the box. The whole thing looks a lot more stable now, which is fantastic. I'm going to try the other demo. One moment, I need a couple of hands to set this up. So here we are. Uh, now I'm going to run the other demo, which is part of the uh, BDD 6502 test suite. So uh, uh, definitely this one. Yeah. And then hit go. And then here we go. This one actually contains a lot more. Oops. Let's reset the Commodore 64 first. Oof, there we go. Reset Commodore 64. Um, that one's now uploaded, hopefully, the, the code, the correct code. And there we go. Um, on the sprite board, I still have not fixed the, the weak pull ups. So uh, this flicker here and this flicker here in the sprite is expected. Uh, but the character layer looks. Uh, Perfect. Basically, it looks all right to me. Uh, looks nice. The colors all look great and everything. So let's hit spacebar. And there we go. Uh, the sprites are all moving around exactly the same as the demo. The colors are all, all, are all correct. Uh, the background colors look all correct too. Uh, yeah, everything looks perfect. Uh, very happy with this rebuild. Um, it seems to be a lot more stable than the previous version. Um, of course, the previous version was a prototype board. This next version, especially for the characters board, is, is pretty final. Um, there is one more revision that, that I'd quite like to do with the edge connectors and stuff. But yeah, with a pro proper backplane perhaps. But we'll see how this goes. I think now, uh, I think I'll build the tiles board, which will sit underneath the sprites in the character generation board. And we'll just use that to fully try out the other two pixel plane inputs on, on the video board. But yeah, cool. Working really quite well.